effects and yield recovery from physical defects so what do you mean by physical defects hmm so remember this what is this hello what is this layout of a 60s ram cell sir layout of the 60s ram cell so now when i'm talking about physical defects what do you mean by physical defects over here sir can it be some dust particles sir dust particles yes and uh, lr line edge roughness okay what would lr do dipank uh if it's a very low tech node then it can impact the gate set uh, basically uh, uh, make the device faster or slower hmm so to electrical behavior ho gaya placement placement means uh, means suppose uh, if it's uh, automated by tool metal has suppose a metal layer has not been placed correctly or kind of stuff oh so if it is because of that then it means that there will be zero yield because it's a design failure you design something wrong wrong mhm mm what else what do you call as defects this this and this is important also because this course is about testing also so finally you will also test stuff so it is important to deliberate on the definition of defects what do you mean by physical defect over here we just looked at the sram cell and how different layers simply pile up one over the other yes ranjit uh, so defects could be a uh, dust particle which are being clogged yeah that vaishnav also said and uh, other than it can be a di uh, the um, direct breakdown or some metals uh, which can be uh, metals which are being clogged metals which are being uh, uh, where the connectivity between the metals is being blocked okay so metals are not connected yes sir okay yes, sir. Uh, why would that be uh, sir it can be that uh, larger magnitude of current flows through this particular interconnect and it can uh, uh, this talking about so you're not talking about a fresh lot you're talking about after aging okay yes, electro migration stuff like that okay yes sir but what could lead to what could be physical defects at the time of manufacturing think more in this direction that you were thinking about sir uh, can it be because i'm like even we were saying one of the example in uh, previous class so the polys are not uh, as i'm like uh, as uh, good as we see in the layout i'm like there there might be some uh, curvy nature which we simulate before uh, fabrication so curvy nature what do you mean by curvy nature <laughs> uh sir i mean due to this due to making making uh, rounding okay yeah. so uh, if you use curvy nature in a, an interview they will they will be like what is this so rounding is the term hmm? yes sir there are some like stuckat faults that we study but i don't know if they are applicable here yeah what is stuckat fault why would it happen uh So what is the defect that leads to a stuckat fault so when okay. there is a kind of shorting of a wire or the wire gets stuck at um, if you want to toggle the zero one but it hits one only like say it gets stuck at a particular logic so then we call that as a stuckat fault and oh uh, sir the, the fault it could be due to the extra metal creeping in or the sand particles I mean, there could be various faults that are modeled as stuckat fault Mhm okay uh, so sir suppose this stuckat fault can also be such that if the poly uh, is uh, shorted somehow to the vdt terminal then uh, uh, then the nmos can continuously discharge to ground and this can be a stuckat zero fault or else if the mm. very interesting else... so uh, can a poly be shorted to vdt over here in this layout is there a possibility there no sir no why uh 
Uh, so poly, uh, so VDT, we were providing it in like a metal two, right? Because with the bit, uh, with the bit. Yeah. Line. So this and this is metal two. This yes, is sir. the metal two through which I am providing my VDT. Yes, sir. So can the poly short? So, but in between the poly and the metal two, we would have the intra dielectric layer, right? Yeah, yeah. but is 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 VDT going only in metal two? Does your PMOS not get VDT at its source? Yes, sir, sir. But it is getting through VR connections, right? So yeah, so it is coming, getting it through VR. Then it is going to metal one. Then so I mean, it will be connected through metal to metal one VR, right? Okay. And then after then, metal one, what happens? How will it come to the drain? So it will through the tungsten contacts, right? That is uh, throughout they would be coming to the uh, okay. the so diffusion if, one. If we look at poly, this is my gate. Hmm. This is my device. This is my poly, and over here I made a contact, tungsten contact. Do you think there could be some shorting here? Mm, yes, sir. They could be. I mean, but. Hmm. So, in fact, uh, in the memory cell, you will realize that the DRC between contact and poly is already violated. in a regular standard cell layout you will maintain the drc in a memory cell layout because they say manufacturability is you know we know this is the pattern and this is the repeatability of the structure so the, this drc is already violated the drc is al already violated means the probability of uh, them just getting shorted is also higher the dielectric is very thin over here Are you able to see this? This is your poly. You edge that, but the, it is it is very close to, to your contact, where you have also violated the DRC. So this is the place where poly to VDD short can happen, and that would lead to stuck at one for one of the internal nodes. Are you able to see this? If this poly shorts to VDD, what happens? This metal one, everything, because it is connected to the poly, is now at VDD. So the node is stuck at one. The other side will, will appear to be stuck at zero. Could a poly to ground shot also happen like this? Is there a possibility of a poly to ground shot also like this? Where we would get stuck at zero and stuck at one in a different way? Look so at maybe, maybe the poly which is uh, near to the pull down. Hmm. So you could have stuck this one, for example. Yes. Sir. This poly can uh, this poly and contact can get shorted. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, what else can happen? So this is shorting, stuck at zero, stuck at one. What else can happen? So can metals uh, in different layers can in somehow uh, interact? Metals in different layers, yeah, they they will interact uh, in a no, uh, in a capacitive manner, coupling. Yeah, that's no, no, in, in the, although the DRC is being followed there, but still, is there a possibility like a tunneling kind of thing happen due to dielectric in, in the dielectric? Intermetal. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Intermetal. Intermetal, if you say yes, for example, if you see these two metal ones are very close to each other. Right? Yes. yes. There could be a short here. This metal one and this metal one very close to each other again can lead to a short. Hmm? So whether this metal one and that metal one shorts, whether this con this contact and 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 the poly shorts, what is the outcome? That this poly is held at VDD. 
है ना सर यस सर इन मेमोरी वी आर मच मोर कंसर्न अबाउट द एमलेक यील्ड राइट सो डाइल्यूटिंग डीआरसी सो हाउ डज दैट एक्चुअली आई मीन एंड लाइक आई डोंट सी एनी काइंड ऑफ ओके वी आर सेविंग द एरिया बट वी आर वी आर एक्चुअली आई एम लाइक कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन द फंक्शनैलिटी राइट सो वाई टू डाइल्यूट डी आर सी एक्चुअली आई डू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी आर सेविंग एरिया बट एरिया Yes, uh, yes, sir. But you see, now you are explaining that this might happen. I mean, like uh, we we might get in, into a case that we are we are not even able. Uh, I mean, like we are not even uh, coming out with a good functionality as such. So see, let us say you reduced area by twenty five percent. Hmm. How much were your yield increase by? Do you know? Four times. No. You reduced area by twenty five percent. So instead of so your area instead of A is now point seven five A. So you increase your yield by thirty three percent. Okay. Do you see the benefit of reducing area? Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I see both contradictory statements also sir, at the first place because. uh you now uh, if you, if you can see now we we are violating drs because we want to reduce area at the first place hmm. so we we are facing some issue over there which might lead to some yield loss right yes so, so let again, us say that marginal yield loss is 5% okay so what is the overall gain and yield so 33 minus 5 i mean 28 you still gain 3% Are you able to see this? How is that three percent, sir? Thirty-three minus five is twenty-eight. Huh? And okay. earlier yield was. Uh... Okay. Hmm? Yes. Yes. No. Sir. No. Yes, sir. I understood. I understood what you are saying. I mean, with with more area, we are getting twenty-five percent. With less area, we are getting thirty-three percent. So thirty-three minus twenty-eight. Okay. So no, actually it will be like twenty-eight percent yield recovery. You don't need to subtract twenty-five. Twenty-five percent was the area was lesser, but you still have much more yield recovery even in in the presence of marginal yield loss. So you still would want to go to those DRC violations, but you want to recover yield from that also. What other things could happen? चलो ये बताओ अभी तो हमने we just looked at shorting. What other things could happen? What what other things could go wrong and can lead to faults? How many contacts and VRs do you have inside the memory cell? Did you do a count? Are you doing a count? Sir, oh, okay. So how many contacts? Quick. Ten. Oh, huh? Ten. Well, twelve yeah. contacts. Hmm. How many via ones? How many via ones? So twelve contacts. How many via ones? Seven. Seven. How many will be, brother? Maybe eight will be. Eight. Hmm. Okay. How many via twos? Four. So just up till metal two or metal three level, you have twenty-four contacts and vias. All these contacts and vias are thin tunnels, trenches that you make, and then you fill them up. Sir, so this number will be even reduced, right? Because we are sharing them with the beside cell. Per, yeah, we'll come to the sharing thing. part. We'll come to the sharing part. But to fail any one memory cell, you have you can fail any one of those twenty four contacts or VRs. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Any one of those twenty four fails, your cell would fail. Hmm. So one cell, that many contacts, are, contacts and VRs. And if you're talking about uh, one megabit capacity, then twenty four million. 
contacts and rias more capacity many more so do you realize the variations of contacts and rias are much more than the variations in your devices you have only six devices but 24 contacts and rias 